Bitcoin basing off the 21 exponential moving average on the weekly time frame. And yes, bulls need to start to take control here pretty quick. I wanted to bring our attention to some of the higher time frame uh, issues here as Bitcoin uh, did close the monthly here uh, yesterday. And we did talk about, well, the potential for, um, you know, a quick swipe down to the nine exponential on the monthly time frame here, which uh, is coming down uh, at about 51,000 by ticking below the prior month's low. Now, what we're hoping for is a bit of a quick bounce off of where the five exponential is um, probably coming in somewhere around 56, 55,000. Still giving the odds to the bulls here as um, we're in a macro uptrend and the big question is today at uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time, is Jerome Powell going to come out and surprise the market with a rate cut? I tend to think uh, not as, uh, well, there's now a 99% chance uh, that they are pricing in. They're pricing in that he doesn't cut and keeps rates the same. Now, <clears throat> what my mentor has taught me is it is not important um, it's the expectation versus the reality of what happened. So if the expectation is we're going to keep rates the same and they keep rates the same, then generally I, I, I would lean towards a bit of a bounce there. Um, if he cuts, obviously that would be bullish. If he raises rates today, that would be bearish. Um, so as long as we're in line with the expectations if the reality is in line with the expectations, then things should proceed onwards and upwards. Now, I did want to check in on NASDAQ, which is giving up a little bit of the gains, the monthly close there. Um, oops, is crossing down here from a pretty high level, but above 90. So that is a trending market there. And um, after breaking out the 100 percentile to come back and retest, that is completely normal, but I did want to bring this up as well on the weekly time frame. that in all past prior trending markets, the 21 exponential uh, does seem to hold uh, very, very strong in the uptrend. So you can see in this bull market, uh, once we started breaking out above the 21 exponential, we just Every time we tapped it, um, broke it on this pass, but uh, picked it up quickly and just kept onwards and upwards. And notice this halving here, this halving, uh, which had 158 days of consolidation after the halving. Um, what happened here is we came, well, we immediately test the 21 and bounce off to the races. So Something to keep in mind there as well. And uh, again, you know, all the way up to 21 does govern uh, price action to the upside on the weekly time frame. And then the 2020 having, which 72 days of consolidation, call it about two months, right? What happens? We base off the 21 and then bang to the upside. So um, in fact, we are grazing upon that 21 exponential right now. I do want to check in on some of the underlying market dynamics as well. Funding rates are still positive. So, you know, we are um, not in the critical zone. Uh, you want to see not 0.1% either positive or not 0.1% negative. And that is the extreme reads that we're looking for. And typically negative interest rates are going to mark the lows here. Um, what else do I want to bring our attention to? Let's see here. Yep. So ticking below there, uh, the nine is coming in at 51,000 and on the bi-monthly it's coming in at 45,000. If we did get a sharp pullback, I would suspect that it is going to be a large bounce and considered a buying opportunity. Uh, we did talk about actually on the daily time frame here that let's see is my chart normal on the daily here yes it is usually the first pass on that 200 uh exponential moving average is a bit of a bounce 
Um, this is looking like a bit of a uh, a bit of a descending triangle. So if you are bullish here, uh, what you want to do is see, uh, well, the $60,000 pivot regained fairly quickly. Um, momentum is now crossed to the downside and volatility is expanding on the daily time frame. Typically, you do see a bit of a 20% move there. Um, so there are going to be a bunch of stop losses hanging out here at 64.5 and 67.6. So short squeeze will be initiated as we start to, uh, if we do bounce here. Um, so maybe PAL surprises the market today. Um, what else do I want to bring up? Oh, yeah. So when volatility expands from a low level, uh, and here's what I'm talking about, the BBWP. Uh, see, it, it just wasn't that low, right? So I, I would expect this, you know, correction to be a bit smaller uh, than than the typical move. But 20% from there would be right in line with uh, pretty much the bottom side of this wick here. So that so next level down uh, 54 and then call it uh, 50,500. Um, I would say that that probably holds, but you could look at this as a bit of a descending triangle. Could you call this a descending triangle? No. No, maybe you could, maybe you couldn't. There are a few touches on that trend line, so maybe you could, but uh, typically what is the first target from a breakdown of the range, you're looking at that 1618 fib coming in at 54,357. Um, I wouldn't be, you know, this isn't where you want to be opening shorts, in my opinion. Um, again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but um, you, you, you know, typically you want to open those shorts at, off the retest. So uh, you get the breakdown break down, retest, lower high, and that that would be the area to um, start opening up some shorts. Um, what else to note here is it seems, oh, we'll just check in on Dixie. Again, pretty bullish here on the daily time frame yesterday. Um, nice, you know, bullish follow through on the, let's see what the monthly looks like. And we've been talking about it all year. You know, dollar probably does push up to this level here at about 108.94. Um, as I as I bring that to my attention here, using our FIB tool here, that is the 618 FIB where the traps come in. So we, we want to see that level reject and uh, pop back down to the downside. That will relieve some pressure on these risk assets. Um, also noting here on Bitcoin's time frame um, on the monthly here, you know, where do the bull trap, I, I mean, very, very likely get to bounce off the 382 on the first pass. There's the 0 0.5 coming in at 44,000 and the trap price at 37.5. I don't think that is in play overall. You know, we are going to expect after making a higher high, uh, a higher low, and then kind of judge it from there at least from the monthly perspective, the bi-weekly. Also, uh, just getting governed by the nine exponential on the weekly time frame. You can see as soon as we lost the weekly, we came uh, down to the 21. So do we get a bounce on the first pass? I would say yes. Um, if we are failing to get back above, you know, 64, 67,000, uh, wherever this 618 is, which I can redraw this for us here. Um, I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm going to give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto. 
but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. from the high to the low on a week basis. That 618 is, yeah, coming in at 67,198. So kind of call that the pivot or the line in the sand. Um, what else is on the bull case here? Well, can we see if we have slightly declining volatility on the last tick? So 56 point, by the way, this is the moving average, the white exponential. Um, on the BBWP, the Bollinger Band with percentile, which measures volatility. And we went from 56.8 to 57.7. However, the two-day time frame will not close until the end of today. So if it does put in a bounce off the green 55, um, that would be the bull's hopium there. Um, and it will cross back up above 62,597. That would be another bullish thing if we did see a bit of a, just a wick down here. And then a quick reclaim of 60,692. Uh, that would look good for a bit of a trap. And a lot of times, you know, we, we talked about this, right? We were, we were looking for the deviation to the upside. Um, well, it looks like we got the deviation to the downside. And also, I've been saying this to everybody, look, this is actually what we wanted to happen um, as if Bitcoin just started breaking out and rallying to the moon, it would probably um, make the bull market shorter. Um, just to, statistically speaking, you know, sideways consolidation and down, they grab more liquidity and then send it to the upside. And that's what I suspect will happen. I heard Amazon today came out with some pretty good earnings. Uh, their iCloud services helping out quite a bit. Um, and then we've got, uh, let's just check in on the CMEs here. If, and I, apparently that five day bearish divergence on the CMEs is starting to play itself out. And uh, again, that not 0.5618 level is coming in between 45 and 37,000. Um, yep, just bringing it to our attention here. Uh, additionally, for a low to get put in, right, we wanna see the fear and greed index come down a bit more. So are people panicking right now at $60,000 or 58,000? No. Um, when does the low get put in typically? Well, when the fear and greed index gets down below a 10, but in a bull market, oh, and here's another point for the bulls, guys. So in a bull market, you typically never see two red months in a row. So as long as we are bullish, right, we, we basically want to see, um, let me throw on the rest of the moving averages here. By the way, if you want to set up TradingView for free and learn how to start following the markets, uh, you can head over to BitcoinAdvisors.com, go to our resource center. We have a nice little tutorial on how to set up TradingView for free and start tracking the markets as, uh, you know, pain is the name of the game. You know, it forces you to change and make some decisions and get serious about your trading. Highly, high rec highly, highly recommend it. Additionally, we have a course, Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. Give that a look. If you're interested, you can join for free for 30 days. All right. Uh, back on to, you know, how do we call a low here? Well, definitely would like to see the funding rates get negative, fear and greed. We want to see, um, you know, when people are max fearful, that's that's typically when uh, some buying opportunities will start to emerge. Um, what else? Yes, uh, following up on that trade from yesterday, I, I want to be on record. I got stopped out, but here I am flipping it short uh, to the short side on Bitcoin. And just for a little swipe lower here, I'm looking for a swipe down to about 56.4. 
Um, and uh, yeah, that's also going to be in our Discord as well. Um, do I have anything else? Oh yeah, Ethereum. And just one last final thought on Bitcoin here. Um, if you've been following our channel for some time and you know how we like to use the Fibonacci retracement tool, um, going back from the high here to the low, as soon as we made this W formation, we said, hey, probably going to go and tag the 618 with an op 0.5. So we had a green box there and we expected a sell off. That was right around the ETF approval. Um, and, you know, often the market likes to inflict the most pain as possible. We also talked about, you know, all year long that there's either a 30% correction right before the halving or right after. And, well, uh, high to low right now, the correction, 23% so far. And just so you know, in past prior cycles, right, a 40% correction in a bull market is not unheard of by any means, right? Uh, you know, we define the bull market starting 12 months before the halving, right? And then the typical uh, cycle will last 130 uh, or call it uh, 130 weeks, right? 130 weeks from the cycle high to the low here. Can I redraw that for us here? 130 weeks. So uh, 132 bars on that bull market. And you can see this one from 12 months before the halving to the high 139 weeks. And uh, this one was a bit shorter, but uh, you know, could you stretch that out and say, oh, maybe this was the high 115 weeks. So key indicators to look for for that cycle top to get put in. Um, additionally, we want to see what's called the Pi cycle top indicator fire off on the daily time frame, which is going to be this one right here. And that is when the blue line um, intersects price action. So um, what also leads me to believe that we are coming into a bounce zone while well, you've got this, this moving average that uh, typically does support price in the bull market. Um, additionally, I've got another indicator. Let's see if it's still here. Let's see if it's still here. <clears throat> Can I get it to populate? There we go. Secondary chart. Um, yeah, we're right on the bottom side. Uh, let's let's pull up this one right here. So just checking in here on the weekly accumulation distribution indicator. The monthly accumulation distribution indicator still has a bit of a positive slope. Yes. So the monthly still does have a positive slope on the accumulation distribution indicator, which also does indicate. So the monthly just closed last month and it did remain. Shout out to Crown for this one, uh, bringing it to my attention. Love that guy. He's got a lot of great information and statistics. Highly recommend you check him out. Um, but I did want to just, you know, no monthly accumulation distribution indicator is still with a positive slope. So that's another point for the bulls. And again, wicks down to this area are completely fine, considered buying opportunities. And lastly, we did say, you know, the $60,000 pivot on the daily time frame needed to hold and to be uh, official here, 60,000 did not break yet. The day is not over. The day is not over. So um, you know, lots, a lot can happen here in the next eight hours and 46 minutes. So it's a good time to be watching the market. Um, but once we do lose that $60,000 pivot, <laughs> pivot um, the chances of a greater correction down, you know, possibly down to the uh, $48,000, $50,000 level are going to be in play. And to be fair, just better to be aware of these things um, than not. All right. I think that's enough out of me today, guys. I hope you guys have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.